In this video, what I'm going to show you is how to set up your um, Geo database uh, to um, to do this, so you can present the user with um, a list to choose from to add attributes. So I've just drawn this line. I've created a new feature in this this sum lines uh, layer features. If I open the attribute table on that, so that's one I've created from a previous um, video. I've shown you how to sort of add these star edit dates etc. That's just some simple uh, editor tracking. The um, But you see how in my category it says best but when I click on it I can set it to null if I want and that's optional but I can also say okay bad or unknown as some kind of categorization. So I could have anything in there uh, numbers, um, any, any text and uh, logical. Uh, so I can j just make it a simple select tool so you can really uh, uh, nail down what the data entry is to uh, assist later on in uh, sort of data quality so you can really set um, make the user choose uh, what, what, what the um, the answer is on this uh, field so what I'm going to show you is actually how to create this drop-down list uh, with no coding uh, and that's done by setting a uh, coded domain in the uh, in in this feature class in the personal geo database, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here I am in our catalog. Uh, I'm actually using 10.5 here, and the way you would set up that sort of drop-down list box uh, with no coding is, as I said, to use domains, coded domain. So I've got this uh, test geo database here. Uh, it's just a, a, a basic um, personal geo database. And um, here's some lines. That's the one I just drew. And if I go to properties on this, this, this is how you set it up. So on the fields, first of all, if you look at the fields, I've got my category. So that was the one where the user selected. It was a drop down list. Uh, and that's set to text. And it's actually set to a domain of length one, one character. And I default it to A, which is uh, equal to best which we'll see in a second. So the domain is, is this uh, definition of, ca uh, of category here that I've set up that I can name anything. And, and that's, the, th th that's where you set the, 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 um, the rules effectively. So, but how, where does that come from? Well, in subtypes, if you look at domains here, you'll see that I've defined text cat def. So my, my uh, t is text uh, a category definition is a, uh, call it what you want. Description could be anything, just type in um, a, See or unknown. So you could you could sort of you know just put in what you like there to make a note. Uh, but it's a field type text, so this domain is expected to populate a text field. It's a coded value, which means and then when you have a coded value, you set what your values are down here. So I've said if it, if A is best, B is okay, C is bad, and U is unknown. So these these are what the, the these are the text descriptions that I want to appear in the um, uh, drop down list, you know, when, when they look at the attributes and, and, and be prompted to enter an attribute. So, the um, and, and there's some rules there you can see on splitting and merging. You know, if I was to merge some features together, what then happens? You know, I could, I could sort of force a, a default value, or what have you. Um, more on that another time, actually. Uh, so, so that's how you, 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 you do it. So, back in field, you can you then set what you want to do is uh, what you want it to do and, and off you go if we just go back to domains for a second we could create another one here and say uh, this is some kind of int uh, integer uh, range for example so you know you could, you could one two three four it could be one two three or four and this we could force um, a minimum maximum value and uh, it's a range we'll make it a short integer and um, and, and off you go. So you're not entering any, it's not coded values here. I'm just saying, you know, these numbers and it's a range. So that's how you set up rules. There's no coding, there's no programming. Uh, you just set up this, the, the domains. So ideally, you would set up your domain first, define what your answers are, here they are, and then in your field, just set it to be uh, what you want. Make sure that you've set the data type correctly. So my category is text, it's a text field, and the domain gives you is also. A, uh, it's text, it's a field type text. So make sure if you get those the wrong way around and you f it, you'll see basically it, it won't populate, it'll be null or what have you. So um, uh, 
Uh, I don't think it actually tells you that that's a data type mismatch, but um, it'll it'll uh, just won't populate. So uh, if we look at the preview of these table, go to the end there. So I just drawn one and I hadn't selected uh, previously. So uh, it's um, unknown. So it's what the text is that gets uh, um, displayed there to the user. So I hope that's um, useful. A bit of uh, customization, really. Uh, a bit of personal geodatabase works. Works on any geodatabase. Uh, won't work on a shapefile. And um, uh, yeah, so no pro no programming, but uh, very useful to the end user. Hope that's useful. Thank you.